How to download your entire WordPress media library tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can download your WordPress media library. So let's get into it. Now you can see if you go into your WordPress dashboard that you have a bunch of different images. This is just a sample website, so I don't have that many images. However, if this is your actual WordPress dashboard, then you're probably going to find hundreds and hundreds of images, especially if you have been running your website for a long time. And if you have been running your website for a long time, then you might want to download those images because they could come in handy. You could want to, you know, revamp your website. So you want all of the data files. Maybe you want to transfer to another website builder. So you want all the media files. So how can you do that? Well, it's very simple. And make sure to watch this video till the end because I will be showing you guys how to make your WordPress media dashboard look like this instead of having a basic dashboard like this and how you can categorize images before you download them. So let's get into it. Now to get started, all you have to do is you're going to go into your plugins and we're going to be using a actual plugin to do this entire process. So to download your library, you're going to go into plugins and click on add new. Once you have clicked on add new, you're going to search for WP file manager. So once you search for WP file manager, you can see that there are multiple different plugins available and we, you specifically want the WP file manager. So you also have a basic manager like the advanced file manager by model web. You have the filebird one. Now the filebird one is not something that I'm going to recommend for downloads. If you want to do downloads, go for the WP one. Now you can see over here that I have this WordPress plugin over here. So this is WP files and now you can simply click on install now. And once you have downloaded the plugin, you can go into installed plugins and you're simply going to click on activate over here. Once you have activated your plugin, you can click on let's get started. And now you can begin importing data. So we're going to skip this step. And you can also connect other files over here as well. Now, to just make your experience better, uh, you can allow certain settings, but you don't really need to do that. Now, you can simply click on the modules over here. And now you can see you have multiple different modules. So you have lazy load, you have image watermark, you can also do media download. So you're just going to click on your WordPress media over here. And now once you have your WordPress media, you can simply go on ahead and use their pro version. You can use the simple free trial version of their pro version to download all of your files. Now, if you don't want to go with this plugin, if this is a little too complicated because this is like a general file manager, you can choose to deactivate it temporarily. We're just going to deactivate this for a temporary time and you can delete it if you want. I'm just doing this to show you guys. Now, after that, you can go back into add new. And the other file manager that you can actually use is the simple file manager by advanced file manager. So by it's by model web. And what you're going to do is you're just going to click on install now because this is like a simpler wordpress plugin a lot of people find this a lot easier to use so you're just going to do the same thing you're going to go into install plugins and you're just going to activate your plugin and once your plugin has been activated you can simply go into your file manager over here and you can see from here you have all of your content you have all of your wp links you have code all of that information now you can go into your media library and you can see your media library is going to appear the same as it usually did so now we have our basic media library and if we want to you know do bulk selections as well as you would on the basic version but your download option is not here it's actually in the file manager so in your file manager what you're going to do is we're just going to go on ahead into our file manager and from here you can simply go into your assets and you can see you have multiple different assets now you can simply click on download over here so you can click on select files and you know upload files or select a folder to upload that into your specific files and you can also click on documentation 
So once you have this plugin added, now you can go into your code or you can go into any of the documents. So you can simply go into your text documents, you can go into your basic site map and view any of the information or any of the code that you have uploaded. You can go into your WordPress content or in your WordPress admin, you can go directly into images if you don't care about anything else, if you just want to download your entire media library. And you can simply click on images or you can even click on you user to see your other php codes so if you just want to download images just go into admin and you're going to go into the images section now once you have gone into the images section you can simply do a selection and you can do multi-select so you can do bulk selection over here like this with your mouse and once you have selected all of the images that you want to download you can simply click on this icon on the top left side of your screen you're going to find it right above over here so you're going to click on download and you can see right over here these images have been downloaded as a zip file now this is super efficient because it saves you a lot of space and you can unzip the files like this and just like that all of the images will be unzipped and you can download anything and you can download the code you can download anything of your own choice into your website and this is something that really helps you in you know, making sure you have all the content of your website in a downloaded file. If you want to make sure that, you know, all of the information that you have is, you know, present with you, or if you just want to be able to, you know, manage your WordPress website and you want to just keep the media libraries, then this is still a great option. So just like this, we can access all of our, not only just media files, but other files as well and download or back up our WordPress website. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video